that. All right, please, Jeff. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Why did you lie to the American people, and why should we trust what you have to say That's now? That's a terrible question, and the phraseology, I didn't lie. What I said is we have to be calm, we can't be panicked. Uh, I knew that the tapes were there. These were a series of phone calls that we had, mostly phone calls. And uh, Bob Woodward is somebody that uh, I respect just from hearing the name for many, many years, not knowing too much about his work, not caring about his work. But I thought it would be interesting to talk to him for a period of, you know, calls. So we did that. I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't even know if the book is good or bad. But uh, certainly if uh, he thought that was a bad statement, he would have reported it because he thinks that, you know, you don't want to have anybody that uh, is going to suffer medically because of some fact. And he didn't report it because he didn't think it was bad. Nobody thought it was bad. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And your question, the way you phrase that is such a disgrace. It's a disgrace to ABC Television Network. It's a disgrace to your employer. And that's the answer. Are you ready? Because I I love. Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't. No no. No no. Than the flu, and then you went out and told the American public that this was just like the flu. Let me tell you something. We've had two years. You told everybody else something else. No. And five times, right? Five times. You ever hear the expression five times? We've had flu years where we lost a hundred thousand people. The flu is a very serious problem for this country, also, and we've been losing them. Scott, what kind of a number have we lost over the years with flus into the hundreds of thousands? Well, I mean, the, the last five years have been something like 35 to 80,000 per year, every year, even with antiviral drugs. And even with flu is a very serious problem. Also. But, but just so you know, this is worse than the most deadlier than the most strenuous flu. Okay. And then you went out and said it's just like the flu. What I went out and said is very simple. Listen, what I went out and said is very simple. I want to show a level of confidence, and I want to show strength as a leader, and I want to show that our country is going to be fine one way or the other. Whether we lose one person, we shouldn't lose any, because this shouldn't have happened. This is China's fault. This is nobody's fault but China. China should not have allowed it to happen. Whether you have a, one person, 180,000 people, or two and a half or three million people, which it could have been very seriously if we didn't make the moves. And when you look at the opposition where they said, oh, why did he put the ban on? Uh, Dr. Fauci said we saved hundreds of thousands of lives by putting the ban on China and then ultimately putting the ban on Europe. There was no lie here. What we're doing is we're leading, and we're leading in a proper way. And if, frankly, somebody else was leading it, they wouldn't have closed it. If you look at uh, Nancy Pelosi, you look at Cuomo, you look at de Blasio, you look at Biden. Months later, they said there's no problem. They're talking about me. Months later, and before any statement was made, you have to remember, I put the ban on China. So obviously, outwardly, I said, it's a very serious problem. And it's always a serious problem. That doesn't mean I'm going to jump up and down in the air and start saying, people are going to die, people are going to die. No. No, I'm not going to do that. We're going to get through this, and we're right now, I hope, really think we're going to, we're rounding the final turn. And a lot of good things are happening with vaccines and with therapeutics. But there's no lying. And the way you ask that question is very disgraceful. Well, people trust Phil, you go ahead, please. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I think we did a great job. I think we did a great job. And the people that did such, our generals, our admirals, Mike Pence, all of the people that have worked so hard, and now Dr. Atlas, and all of the Dr. Fauci, Dr. Birx, they should be respected for the job they've done. So you won't downplay you it again? You won't downplay it again? You said you downplayed it. That's what you told all me. I'm doing is, no, I don't want to jump up and down and start screaming death, death, because that's not what it's about. We have to lead a country. We're leading a great country, and we're doing a great job. And the people that have done such a good job should be given the kind of credit that they deserve. We possibly have done the best jobs when you start looking at what we're doing with the vaccines and therapeutics and ventilators. We had no ventilators, John. We make thousands of ventilators now a month, and we're supplying them to the whole world. The job we've done is the best job. And don't give me any credit. Give the people that have done this the credit. They've done a great job.